Fidelity Investments app review and tutorial coming up next. Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be going over the Fidelity Investments app which is widely available on all mobile devices. This app is completely free to download on your smartphones or tablets. You're going to want to have a Fidelity Investments account to access all the features on the app. So the Fidelity Investments app offers a convenient and flexible way to stock trade, especially when you're mobile. So I'm going to go over the app, all the features, give you a little tutorial and review. All right, guys, let's get started reviewing the app. All right, so as you get onto the Fidelity.com trading app, um, it kind of personalizes your own homepage. So as you scroll, you can see potential articles on news. You can see the overall three markets right there, the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P. You also have a kind of notification on how the election or some sort of current event might impact your money. The good thing about Fidelity is it gives you a lot of resources to do research other than just going through Google or other outlets. So as you continue to scroll, you'll see all sorts of different personalized kind of messages based on your trades. So I picked random stocks to watch, you know, just so you get the point. But you can see it kind of goes over the stock watch list and it gives you, you know, potential articles and news right below it for that particular stock, which is kind of cool. It brings it right to the forefront. Um, international market news, U.S. market news. So it gives you all sorts of information. It's personalized to your watch list and stocks that you have already purchased. So to the top right, you have a couple shortcuts. You have your transaction sort of shortcut. You also have it in the bottom. You have a chat, a virtual chat. So if you want to um, find some quick information or deposit information, you can do that through the virtual assistant. It also has a microphone feature so you can talk into it. Fidelity.com trading hours. So let's see what happens. So it gives you information right here that might be able to help you. It also tells you the pre-market um, and post-market hours. That's important. So Fidelity allows you to start trading as early as 7 a.m. East Coast time and after hours up until 8 o'clock. So the after market is 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern. So next to the chat is a search where you can search for different companies and stocks and kind of look a little bit into the potential companies. So... When you click on a stock or you search for a stock, this is the information that you get on the company. So this is Amazon, a very popular one. If I want to trade it, I can hit that you know, uh, green button. I also have potential options that I can explore up to the right here. So this goes over all the potential option trades with Amazon. So if that's something you're interested in, but that's a whole separate topic. But you do have the option on the Fidelity.com app. You can add it to your wish list. You can do alerts. So if it hits a certain price, you can you know look into it a little bit more. It has your basic chart, your yearly. If you want to go to advanced charts, you can look more into it. You can put the filters on. You can change the chart settings, which is pretty cool. Let's see what we can do here. So you can do the candlestick look. You can do the filled line, mountain, etc. You can see that. You also can compare. You can do all different kind of graphic charts, indicators. So this is another cool feature that Fidelity offers. If you want to look at all these different chart technicals, you can click on all the different buttons and it will give you all the information that you need regarding that particular stock. In this case, it's Amazon. So let's play around. Okay, let's see if it adds those two options. And you can see that it did. It added the two different trading features um, that you know I put in my filter. So if I want to look more into that, I can. So it pretty much gives you every single uh, potential research aspect you can want with the chart, all in your fingertips, very easy to do. And then as you continue to scroll with the potential company, it's got the bid versus the ask information, what it's going for right now, the highs and the lows, the yearly highs, lows, et cetera, um, all the major stats, volume, et cetera. You can see everything right there for you. So quick, it's a quick glance kind of thing. Another thing that Fidelity does that I like is it gives you equity score, basically the value of the company, um, and it kind of gives you analyst opinions, especially for the major companies. You also have a company valuation right here, which kind of gives you what the projected company is worth per share based on what it is. So obviously you want to look for things that are undervalued, 
social sentiment, and this is basically what people feel in the market. That's another really cool feature that's on the newer side for Fidelity. And then any related news, company profiles, and you can look way more into all the statistics on these particular stocks right on this app. The ownership, how many shares are outstanding, key statistics, earnings, dividends, and the technical analysis, research reports. You can find anything you want about the particular company right here on the app. If you click on the accounts in the bottom left, you'll find all your information. You'll find your deposits, history, and all of your trade history, etc. You can see the summary, which basically gives you information on your particular portfolio. You can see the individual positions. You can also explore your past history and transactions here. You can put in different filters and kind of see different transactions you've made over the past. The watch list is a very simple kind of thing. If you want to add something, you click add symbol and just click on something and it will show up. So as you scroll left to right, you can see all different information. So you can see the equity scores and the basics. And again, one of the cool features about a company like Fidelity is you can contact people pretty quickly. They have live chats, virtual assistants. You can also call if you need any information. The most used feature of this app is going to be the, the transaction button. And there's two buttons for you, one on top and one on the bottom. So you can simply hit trade and punch in a number. I don't have a lot in this account. So let's say Disney. So it gives me all the information I need on Disney and I can either sell, buy, I can put it also in dollars, like in terms of how much I want to sell in terms of money, or I can do shares. The traditional way to do it is by shares, but a newer feature is you can actually trade by dollar amounts. So that's a newer up and coming kind of feature that a lot of these platforms are offering. Also market versus Limit orders, a market order basically is I, I hit submit and I get whatever the, the bids and the, the ass align to. But if I want to do the limit order, it's specific to that dollar amount. So in addition to the market order, you have your stop losses, your trailing stop losses. Most things that you can do on the Fidelity website, you can do on the app. I like this app. I think it's uh, one of the better apps in terms of being complete. It has a lot of research. Um, that is at your fingertips and a lot of different tools on the actual stocks. It provides all the information you need when you're researching a company. And again, you can do this all mobily. You also can trade after hours or pre-market with Fidelity. And as you can see, you know, Disney is up $4.61 since the after hours. So it was down $2.30 and it's up after hours. So I can trade that. You also can check the order book to see all the different bids and all the different asks. So Fidelity also offers the opportunity to buy CDs. So you can come on here and check out some of the information if that's something you're considering putting your money in and kind of letting it just sit. And it gives you the yield percentages and it talks about when that potential uh, CD is up for maturity. Transferring money, so pretty self-explanatory. You can transfer money into your bank account or you can um, put funds into your Fidelity account for trading. So another cool feature that Fidelity offers is you can deposit your checks right into your Fidelity account, right from your phone. You can pay different bills. It gives you the option of bill pay from your Fidelity account because it is a checking account. This is a legit checking account and a stock trading account. Um, and also you can put kind of your funds into PayPal and that's another option rather than going to your bank and then PayPal, it goes right into PayPal or vice versa. The other feature I'm gonna go over on the stock trading app is a lot of just information. It gives you all of the contact security information on the bottom. So another one of the cool things that Fidelity offers is a lot of education for stock traders, especially if you're new to stock trading. You know, I still use a lot of these things, I'm still learning. And uh, you know, you can see all different podcasts that you can access on you know stock trading. You can see the learning center is going to give you some different educational tips and, you know, articles that you can read all on stock trading, different programs. So it's kind of cool. It gives you like classes, shareholder Q and A's. You can talk to other people in different forums. Um, 
you know, instead of going on like stock twits or something like that, this is more of a professional kind of forum. You can set your alerts. You can look at all different markets around the world. You can plan out, you know, the planning tool is, is a great feature for Fidelity. I mean, you know, you can kind of set all different goals um, and you can talk to people. That's one of the cool things. You can talk to live, you know, people on Fidelity to get information. The research tool is another huge thing. I did a Fidelity stock screener video that focuses on this more in particular, but it's through the desktop version. But if you scroll to the bottom, you can actually start a screen on the mobile app. So it's not as good as the, the website version, but it still kind of does a lot for you in terms of the screener. All right, so that about does it. Uh, a couple things I like about the app. It offers convenience right from your fingertips, especially if you're away from a particular computer and you want to do some quick research, you want to trade some stocks, look at your portfolio at a glance, add money, etc. It does the trick. Um, I recommend using a desktop for more of your research, but um, if you need to use these apps, it, it is a great you know tool. And uh, I do like Fidelity a lot in terms of stock trading. I have a couple other videos on Fidelity that are in the description. So if you want to learn more, check those out. Okay, so I hope you found this video informative. Please hit that subscribe button, leave me a like, comment, and you can share this video to anyone interested in Fidelity Investments. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.